the Chiefs fumble. They playing like they in high school. Yeah, when I was in high school, I never fumbled. In fact, every time I walked into that field, I scored. Since when do offensive linemen score? <laughs> Since there have been cheerleaders. Well, when I played, I really did score, as in points. I thought you said your mother wouldn't sign the release form to let you play football. <laughs> she wouldn't, but I forged it and had a pretty damn good football career under a different name. What name did you use? Bo Jackson. <laughs> that was me. I'm worried about Nicolette. Oh, why, man? She sings fine. Uh, this is the worst day of my whole life. Wow, man. I don't understand why it never worked out between you two. You know her so well. Yeah. All right, Nicolette, we know something's bothering you. Gonna spit it out. Well, the truth is, I'm having a problem with Stanley. Uh-oh. Hey, Ed, you want to sit this one out? Why, why should I? She's over me, I'm over her. That ship sailed, man, ran into an iceberg. People came right out the side. The water rushed in, man. Sharks came in behind me, started yomping on them, yomping on them, man. <laughs> and and what, what about Stanley, Nicolette? Well, things between us have been going so smooth. I mean, it's like we read each other's minds. Sometimes I even finish his sentences. Nicolette, you finish everyone. Everybody's sentences, I know. <laughs> Anyway, it's weird. I know Stanley wants to ask me to marry him, but for some reason, he just can't get the words out. He wants to marry you? How you know? Well, I'm a woman, and women have a sixth sense about these things. Plus, I saw a receipt from the jewelry store in his fanny pack. <laughs> you don't go through a man's fanny pack. Or his address book, or his pockets, or his wallet. I remember one time, this girl opened my mail. Uh, 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 Jennifer. Jennifer. Oh, man. Excuse me, I believe we were talking about me. <laughs> anyway, will you marry me was right on the tip of his tongue. He even got down on one knee. Then he started pretending like he was looking for a contact lens. I mean, he doesn't even wear contact lenses. I think he just lacks confidence. The man is seven feet tall. Can't he squeeze some confidence in there somewhere? <laughs> well, he's very shy for his height. Maybe you two can help me. You want us to make him shorter? <laughs> No, I want you to make him more confident, like you two, only less obnoxious. All right, what's in it for us? See, that's what I meant by obnoxious. All right, yeah. You want to marry Proctor? All right, me and Malcolm going to make it happen. Because you ain't getting no younger, and he ain't getting no shorter. <laughs> that's right. So what the hell are you waiting for? You need to be sending out wedding invitations. Oh, thank you both so much. You're going to make two people very happy. That's the least we can do for you and Proctor. <laughs> Oh, yeah, him too. I was talking about me and my mom. Hey, Stanley, Eddie and I have noticed you've been seeing a lot of Nicolette lately. What we want to know is what exactly are your intentions? Yeah, you gonna make an honest woman out of her? <laughs> Please don't tell Nicolette I told you this, but I've been thinking about proposing. Of course, she has no idea. Oh, yeah, none whatsoever. <laughs> so what's stopping you? I don't know. I get as far as will you, and then I can't seem to say m m. Will you m m? See what I mean? Stanley, it sounds like all you need is a little confidence, and that comes from within. If you feel you're confident, you are. Yeah, sounds easy enough, but I just can't get the words out. All right, all right, here's what we'll do I'll pretend I'm Nicolette. You asked me to marry you. Hey, hey, that's not a bad idea. If you could propose to Eddie, you could propose to anybody. <laughs> Man, try it. All right, down on one knee. There you go. There you go, get down there. <laughs> we same height now, mister. <laughs> All right, I'm Nicolette. Hi, Stanley. You want to ask me something? I know you want to ask me something. If you want to ask me something,
yourself, you better come right out there. Does these pants make me look too fat? Because what else my nail pops? You like my nail You better just come on out and say what you gotta say, because I ain't got all day. You really can get on my nerves, because I don't sell you. Hey, 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 hey. How about pretending you're Nicolette with laryngitis? Oh, laryngitis. It's all yours, Dan. <laughs> Nicolette, will you me me Will you me me All right, no use. Damn, I can't even give enough courage to ask Eddie to me me You know what I mean. Hey, he ain't my type either. <laughs> You know, Stanley, maybe the fact that you can't even say the word means you're not really ready to do the word. No, 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 no. I love her, and I definitely want to mum her. You know. <laughs> All right, look. If you really do want to me, 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 damn, look at me now. I can't say it. <laughs> oh, well, I say it. Proctor, you're hopeless. And me and Malcolm are gonna have to think of something else. And, and we will. Don't worry. We'll be with you every step of the way. And your honeymoon? You on your own, bruh. <laughs> she went through his fanny packs. You know that sort of thing makes you sorry you got a fanny. <laughs> Malcolm, what you doing telling him all Nicolette's business? No, only that part of her business that I'm aware of. Oh, don't worry about it, Eddie. I'm in the healthcare profession. I respect people's privacy. Oh, by the way, Mal, here's some more of that ointment you asked me to reorder. <laughs> What's up? You got the message? Yeah, I'm here, but I don't have much time. I was in the middle of a very important police matter. So what did you decide on, the donut or the hose? I went with the bear claw. What do you guys want anyway? Nothing. Just want to talk a little sports. You know, uh, getting Nicolette off of your mind might be a good idea. Hmm. Women. Can't live with them? <laughs> That's it. Can't live with them. <laughs> Hey, Stan, check out those two ladies over there. You might as well, because they seem to be checking you out. <laughs> nah, Malcolm, women don't check me out. You know, sometimes they stare, but I figure they were looking at my gun. Snub nose 22. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Stan, why don't you go over there, man? I think they want you to. <laughs> nah, I couldn't. You can, man, I'm telling you. Confidence, that's what it's all about. You know what I'm saying? You put the Mac in Mac Daddy, man. You think so? I know so. Go get him. And go to Mac. <laughs> oh, gentlemen, are you sure about this? Isn't this a little bit like sending Daniel into the lion's den? Oh, no, no, Tim. See, they're not real lions. Oh, those are Malcolm's waitresses. Gave him the day off. Oh, yeah. They look different without a plate of food in each hand. <laughs> Hey, Malcolm gave him the day off with pay so they could pretend like they're interested in whatever Lieutenant Lurch over there has to say. And when they get through with him, he's gonna think he's the most fascinating man in Kansas City. He'll have no problem proposing to Nicolette. And I won't have to buy them a wedding gift, because I can always remind them I did this. <laughs> hey, Mal, check it out. Operation Playboy is a success. <laughs> It's amazing that women can, can fake it and make it seem so real. <laughs> we talking about laughing, right? Absolutely. What? I'm sorry, man, but for the first time in my life, I got a hint at what it feels like to be smooth. And I like it. I believe Eddie already mentioned this, but... What? I was thinking, I'm not quite ready to get tied down. There's a whole world of women out there, and they dig me. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm afraid if I ask Nicolette to marry me now, I might hurt her. Let me put it to you this way, Proctor. If you don't ask Nicolette to marry you, I'm gonna hurt you. Uh, hey, 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 no, no, relax, man. relax, relax. relax. Man, man, come man. up here with his little badge on. Relax. Nobody can force a man to get married if he doesn't want to. At least I hope not. Man, I ain't giving up. When I met on somebody's life, I met her all the way. Proctor, 
Mackless daddy. <laughs> you ain't the man that you think you are. You talking to me? Who else do I be talking to at this angle? <laughs> now sit on down, man. You know them two women that were laughing at your joke, squeezing your out of shape arm? Me and Malcolm put them up to it. Sydney! Hey, Sydney, would you tell Proctor that liking him and laughing at his jokes and squeezing his arm was all a setup? It's true. I played along. I did exactly what they wanted me to do. Yeah, see? Mackless. At first. When I got to know you and I found out how sweet and sincere you were, I didn't have to fake it anymore. I liked you for real. Really? really? <laughs> yes. And I'd love to go out sometime. Uh, no, no, stop pretending, because you ain't gonna get no raise. You ain't get no extra money. Just forget about it, girl. Stop fronting. Having Matt Stanley is payment enough. Man, she got mad game. I'm gonna be sick. <laughs> no, I think you're gonna be dead once Nicolette finds this out. So you are going to tell her. Great, I think it's better coming from friends. Listen, thanks for everything. Sydney and I have to jet. Now tell her. Hey, Sydney, you're fired. Help her. <laughs> oh, man. How are we going to break this to Nicolette? Here's what we can do I'll give her the good news on how we boosted his confidence. You tell her that he wants to see other women. <laughs> Like a nap, get the old legs stroking. It's Nicolette, let me in. Ah, uh, seven thirty already, man. I gotta turn <laughs> in. Oh, hey, no, come on now. We both let her down, so we both have to tell her. Man, I got strong ankles. There's only two stories. I'm going for it. <laughs> hey, y'all. I want y'all to see the dress I'm wearing to dinner tonight with Stanley. What do you think? I think a little more material and you'll have a cocktail napkin. <laughs> well, I want to look better than I ever have. I'm pretty sure Stanley's gonna pop the question tonight. It's a nice dress, Nicolette. You got any room in there for a box of Kleenex? <laughs> you know what I was thinking? I was thinking of naming our first two children Malcolm and Eddie. Well, what if they're girls? <laughs> Well, then we'll get cats. Somebody in the house is gonna be named Malcolm and Eddie. <laughs> uh, Nicolette, <clears throat> me and Malcolm got something we want to tell you. Well, well, mostly Malcolm. Go ahead, Mal. <laughs> okay, um, well, what we did, we did for your own good. Go ahead, Ed. 7.35 already. <laughs> wait, 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 wait a minute. I know what time it is. What I don't know is what the hell is going on. Uh, Nicolette, Stanley wants to play the field. You better be talking about baseball. <laughs> uh, Nicolette, you asked us to give him confidence, and we did uh, a little too good a job of it. I mean, he's so confident right now, he wants to see other women, not marry you. I mean, I, I, I know it's bad, but damn, that, that's, that's confidence. <laughs> well, wait a minute, let me get this straight. Just 24 hours ago, a man I love and care about was about to ask me the most important question in my life. He spends an hour with you two, and now all of a sudden he wants to play the field? Nicolette, your retention and comprehension skills are excellent. <laughs> it was only an hour? How could you do this to me? How could you ruin my relationship with Stanley? I don't believe this. Well, maybe he's just going through a phase. You know, maybe he'll realize that going out with a different beautiful woman every night of the week isn't really that much fun. <laughs> <laughs> or it, it will be fun and he won't be able to afford it. <laughs> Look, you two have brainwashed my Stanley and you better unbrainwash him. If I can't have romance, neither will you. Because I'm going to make sure y'all don't have anything to romance with. Yeah, get Proctor on the phone quick. <laughs> OK, I'm here. Ooh, check you out. All right, I better not be wearing this dress for nothing. What's the big plan? OK, I've got a big plan. Trust me. Come take a seat. Now, to begin, Nicolette, I'm going to tell you a secret about men. 
this secret I'm gonna tell you could get me drummed out of the male species. So you have to promise me that you will not tell a soul that I'm sharing this secret with you. Well, the only thing anybody needs to know about men is that they always want what they can't get. Oh, you know about that. <laughs> okay, well, that's my plan, okay? See, I got you a decoy boyfriend just for tonight to make Stanley jealous. Trust me, this will make him pop the question. I guarantee it. All right, I'm willing to give it a try, but Stanley is quite a man, so whoever you got had better be handsome, intelligent, funny, sensitive, wealthy, and a sharp dresser. <laughs> well, if he's that wealthy, don't worry about the clothes. I won't make a fuss. <laughs> Where is he? Okay, well, keep in mind, Nicolette, that Stanley's gonna be here any minute, and I didn't have a whole lot of time. Who'd you get, Quasimodo? <laughs> Is much, much better than that. Call me David, cause Goliath's going down tonight. Quasi was busy. Nicolette, Eddie's perfect. See, you guys share a history. Proctor will be more jealous of him than some tall, good-looking, smart guy. For your information, men are very jealous of mechanics, cause we know how to tune a woman up. Well, here's a tip. Some of you mechanics shouldn't rev the engine until it's completely warm. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> if you had some gasoline in your engine, we wouldn't have had that problem. Well, if you were super instead of regular unleaded, I wouldn't be having this conversation with you. <laughs> uh, hey, Stanley! Stanley, hey, man, hey. Hey, Malcolm, here's that Phillips head screwdriver you absolutely, positively had to have at 9.30 on a Monday night. Well, yeah, there's something really important I've got to unscrew. <laughs> oh. Hello, Nicolette. Stanley. Proctor, my man. Still smooth as ever. <laughs> I I'd better go. No, no, I wouldn't hear of it. Come on over to the bar. It's nice over here, and you can see everything that's going on in the whole pub. <laughs> Eddie. If you want to make a man like Stanley jealous, you should at least put your arm around me, quote Shakespeare, and possibly grow a foot or two. Well, you just relax, woman. I got this covered now, man. Hmm. <laughs> May I have this dance? Uh, I thought you never asked. The devil rays in Tampa. What was that all about, huh? I just can't imagine professional baseball in Tampa Bay. Yeah, I don't like devil eggs either. <laughs> you let me lead. Well, I always used to lead. That's because you was leading me to the bad job. <laughs> make Proctor jealous, let me lead. Well, now what are you doing? I'm pulling you close like I always did. But I never liked it. What you talking about? I always pulled you close. And I never liked it. Well, why didn't you say something? Because I didn't want to hurt your feelings. Well, why are you saying something now? Because it don't matter now. <laughs> no, I, I guess it don't. <laughs> I'm glad we're friends. Mm -hmm. And I appreciate you helping me out. All right, you tilt your head back and giggle like you're having a good time. Oh, I can do that. The Brewers are moving to the National Leagues, man. That's gonna be something, right, Stan? Uh, Stan? Look at him, hanging all over. Damn those mechanics. <laughs> I agree, it's disgusting. So what are you gonna do? What can I do? I lost her. No, no, you have not lost her. She's right there. Now, if you want that woman, you go fight for her, Stanley. No, you're right. If I don't, I'm going to regret it for the rest of my life. There it is. By the way, I think the Brewers are going to do fine in National Go, go, go. <laughs> uh, Nicolette? I'm sorry. I, I made a terrible mistake. I, I don't want to play the field. I want you. Will you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> will. Would you like to be my wife? Oh, Stanley, this comes as such a surprise. I mean, Eddie and I was just making plans for New Year's Eve 2000, and now this. <laughs> it's so sudden. Uh, it's sudden for me, too, but Nicolette, I can see in your eyes that Stanley's the man you're in love with. I don't worry about hurting my feelings. You know, your happiness is all I care about. Make sure he pay for the check. <laughs> 
Well, how about it, sugar? What'd you say? Oh, Stanley, I can't tell you how long I've been dreaming about this moment. Well, four months, three weeks, and two days. But that's neither here nor there at this point. What you want, I'm sure, is an answer. Yeah. And you deserve an answer. And my answer is no. 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 <laughs> yes. Will you make up your damn mind, woman? <laughs> Look, Stanley, it isn't that I don't love you. But you know what just hit me? Thinking about my life and your life and what the hell you've been doing showing your muscles to other women. <laughs> well, look, the past couple of days, it just tells me that you're not ready for this kind of commitment. And, and I have to admit, I might not be either. Look, I think we need some breathing room, both of us. But Nicolette. Stanley is for the best. This makes me love you even more. You know what? I don't blame you. <laughs> so goodbye, Stanley. You're a good man. Good man didn't even pay the check. <laughs> Okay, Nicolette, I can't help but think this is our fault. Fault? You did me a favor. I mean, the man wasn't ready, and I wouldn't have known that if it weren't for you. But I do expect y'all two to pay for this dress. <laughs> Maybe you should pick up the check. You know Grand Hill? <laughs> well, you know, things with us, we've been going, they've been, I'm... If you really do want to me, 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 damn, look at me now, I can't say it. Look, I can say it. Look, Proctor. 